Hi, hello, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this haul. Um, I actually have two that I'm going to do in one video, um, and they both finally got here today. <laughs> I've been patiently um, going bonkers because I have been having a serious craving for all of this wax that I have, and I don't didn't have anything similar to it. So, um, one. I have a Scentsy order. It's just a, a six pack. And then I got uh, a small order from Second and Spruce. So let me start with the Scentsy. Sorry, I'm opening the full pack. It didn't come in a box today, um, it, but it did come in like a, a paper mailer and then the poly bag. So already smells amazing. Okay, so I picked up mostly bakery bars so i got two of churro churro from the bring back my bar release this month oh man okay i <laughs> i have i have an obsession with this bar and i had this in my club at some point in the last four years that i have um had since a club and i took it out and i don't know why um hmm. The back of my bar is dented. The other one seem to be okay. Anywho, churro churro is just like the fry. You get the fried part, which I like. And a light cinnamon dusting. It smells just like. Mm, it smells just like a donut, a Mexican donut. I can't wait to warm this. I can't wait to see if the performance has changed any. Regardless if it's light, this is one of my all-time favorite bakery scents. Like, I like the donut-based bakery notes. Um, so I have put three of Churro Churro in a monthly subscription, as well as three Happy Birthday, along with other bars, because I, um, I just need them. <laughs> I wanna get a little stockpile of them, mainly because the bakery section we all know we all know the bakery section is lacking in like just the basics um they used to have a whole bunch when i was a customer many 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 years ago um and the ones that we have are good staples but like the fried baked stuff fried baked that makes no sense the double cooked um <laughs> like a donut scent um is something that i crave year round regardless of the season so very excited to have churro churro okay the next step is i actually have two bars of happy birthday it's been a hot minute since i've smelled this so i'm looking forward to this so i'm i'm smelling the chocolate oh my gosh Okay, so happy birthday is our cake. It's our cake scent. It's supposed to be like sugar, whipped vanilla, or uh, whipped whipped cream and vanilla extract. But I can smell the chocolate note on this. I don't remember smelling that the first time. Okay, let me break this bad boy so I can see if it smells the same in the middle. Oh, I broke into cubes. Whatever. I smell chocolate on this one. How freaking weird is that? Well, regardless, it still smells amazing. Like a marble cake. And now I'm starting to understand I didn't smell the chocolate notes that um, Patricia Gates had mentioned before. And this is so fascinating. It smells kind of light in the clam, which I also don't remember. <laughs> I'm happy to have these two. I want to do some experimenting. Um, I kind of want to come up, see if I can mix in sugared strawberry with happy birthday to kind of give me those sugar pound cake vibes. Although I will say sugar strawberry and vanilla bean buttercream is phenomenal. It is the like almost on point dupe for strawberry pound cake. Um, I think it's by BBW. Bath and butter. Yeah. Um, so I did try that. A few nights ago and it is phenomenal so happy birthday is gonna be amazing also bought mango 
mango matcha to mix with a happy birthday to see if I can get more cake like we had in the mango shortcake. Um, sorry, I was thinking, I was like trying to make the words come out my mouth, it doesn't work all the way. <laughs> Anywho, okay, so next in my six pack is I picked up another bar of Bonfire Beach. Oh, it smells so good. You know what's funny is in this bar, I smell more of the salty air or the salty ocean. And of course, like the smokiness in the sweet marshmallow like. No, kind of, it's very similar to me, like Marshmallow Fireside, but this one, I have like a half bar that I have put away in my melting basket for um, June's Wax Melting Challenge. That one smells more marsh toasted Marshmallow Fire, blah, 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 whereas I get more the salty ocean air in this. All I remember is that it's a freaking powerhouse, super strong. I'm hoping that with the way my nose has changed the last, well, this this spring and summer, um, going for the more gourmand type scents, that this won't knock my socks off. Um, if it does, regardless, I'm gonna warm it, and I don't care where I warm it. <laughs> so it's my house; I can do what I want. And finally, I picked up a bar of Mocha Doodle. This is new to me. I've only smelt it in the testers. I haven't actually warmed a bar of this. So I figured with my bakery obsession, um, this will go great in the kitchen or even out here in the morning. Okay. Not as coffee heavy as I thought it would be. It smells light. Chocolatey. A little vanilla. Hmm. Well, it's the only coffee scent we have, so I'm gonna warm it and I'm gonna like it. It's not as strong as coffee tree. That I did just finish off. That that bar was I'm gonna say two two years old. I think it was yeah, twenty twenty one I think is when it rolled out. That one was very coffee front. This one is more, I wouldn't say like a mocha coffee, but I feel like it's a good balance between the chocolate and the coffee. I'm looking forward to that. So, okay, let's get into my second and spruce box. So bear with me just a second. Let me get this bad boy cut open and hopefully not hurt myself. And here I was thinking that this hadn't arrived yet because we had like some pretty strong storms today. Um, so luckily they weren't tornadic forming. Oh, how cute. Oh, I'm so excited. Erica, if you watch this video, I cannot begin to tell you how excited I am for this. Oh, it's so precious and I love this. I love these little touches. Ooh, maybe have to cut it. Nice. Okay, so in the order, it comes with a, th a little thing. You know, it says, thank you for your order. I wanted to let you know that the wax goodies for this June RTS have been poured over the last six weeks. With that said... I recommend letting your wax cure for one month from the pour date on the label for the best performance. If you just can't wait and taking sniffs just isn't cutting it, trust me, I get it. <laughs> I would suggest trying a small piece after two weeks to see how the wax performs. I hope you enjoy and thank you for supporting our small business. Erica. Oh, how precious. I have sweet pea seeds. This is a cute addition. Now, if I had a garden, I do have flower pots. Okay, sorry, side sidetrack. Oh, I love it. I can already smell the coffee in here. So we have uh, like the social shout out, snap picture thing, and then we have business card. Eric and Slade. This is very very cute. 
Very snazzy, I like it. Okay, so all these are in here with the crinkle paper. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me, she included five samples, look at this. I'm sorry, I'm very excited. I love these little like um, taffeta bags. I even use these when I'm sending out my customer orders. I freaking love it. I love the polka dots. Okay. So this has no label on it. <laughs> this is a scent shot. So this is cool. Oh, it smells coffee. Hold on. Okay, I have no idea what I'm smelling. Coffee, nutty, some kind of bakery. Like pecan, maybe pumpkin, maybe like a pumpkin pecan coffee blend. That's awesome. That's pretty substantial too. That's like a, more than two ounces. Awesome. Okay, and then I also have a sample. This is a watermelon fresh berries. Pour not poured on June second. Oh, I like this. Mmm. This is awesome. Oh, I like that a lot. You kind of get like the watermelon rinds, which you don't get a lot in the watermelon sense. Hmm. That is super refreshing. Oh, I can't wait. Looks like orange slices. And I like the texture of the wax. It's cute. I love it. Okay, let me put this back over here. Get through my goodies. Okay, we'll take out the crinkle papers. Okay, so the mini loaves. I got five mini loaves. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I picked up Latte Da. Latte, Latte Da. <laughs> Espresso, brown sugar, pecan, and pound cake. Oh, that is so cute. Almost want to make it eat it. Oh man. Oh, I'm excited. This is like the perfect kitchen scent. I'm all for like bakery or fresh, depending on like what needs to be done in there. Like if I'm cooking something very fragrant and I put like citrus in there after I'm done cooking, but in the mornings, this is going in. Oh man, the espresso is very much in the forefront. Pound cake. I feel like that would be the base. And I get the nuttiness from the pecans. Kind of like a praline vibe. Yes. Okay, so espresso, like pralines, which is like brown sugar and pecans. Oh, man. Okay, I feel like I could sit here and smell this for like forever. That That is so good. Okay. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so next up is Sweet on Love plus SPC. Which is sweet on Paris type, a strawberry pound cake type. Poured on May 21, 23. Oh, this a latte that was poured on June the 3rd. So like, what, 11 days ago? I'm not even going to sniff the bag. I'm just going to take the thing out because that's how I roll. Oh my God, I'm so glad I got this. It's like fruity, like I smell like blackberry and lemon. Oh, I'm looking forward to warming that. I think the blackberry and lemon, I did, okay, so I'm not familiar with Sweet on Paris, but I did look up the scent notes um, after I had ordered this. Oh, look, it's got glitter on it. Can you see? That is so freaking cute. Oh, see, now I smell the strawberry. Oh, I can't wait to warm this. I'm going to say that about everything, but I'm really looking forward to warming us. Oh, 
mainly because of my uh, strawberry pound cake or strawberry pound cake like scents lately um obsession this is gonna be frigging amazing like when you order things online you don't realize how much is involved and how hefty it is this is five ounces and it feels like more oh I'm almost like getting to the point where I don't want to warm anything because they're so pretty. I guess that's a, a wax hoarder problem. Okay, so this one is Morning Cartoons and Lemon Bars, which is Fruit Loops, Zucchini Bread, Sweet Milk, Lemon Bars. Poured on June the 4th. Look at that. We have a little spillage. That's okay. Oh, yes. Oh my god, it smells like you just opened a box of Fruit Loops. Oh man. So I don't know if you guys have ever like made homemade lemon bars. This is like the perfect balance between Fruit Loops and lemon bars. Although they could kind of tie in together. These complement very well together. I'm not picking up the sweet milk per se. <laughs> I'm sniffing. Let me see if I can get it to my brain how hard I'm sniffing it. Oh man. Lemon bakery. I don't know what I know what homemade zucchini bread smells like, but I'm unfamiliar with the fragrance oil. And also, um Sensi doesn't have anything like zucchini bread per se. Like we've had like a lot of like pumpkin bakery and I think this is the first time in a while I've seen Fruity Bakery, so I'm I'm here for this. These these okay, let me start over. I was gonna say all of these. Um <laughs> Lemon Bakery and Strawberry Bakery are like right up my alley right now. So I'm totally here for those two bars. Three bars. I'm here for my whole order, but I'm just telling you. Okay, so next up is Twisted, which is pretzel, caramel, sugar cookie dough, almond cream, vanilla butter fudge. Uh, pour date was May 27th. I'm looking forward to this one. Oh, it's got like... You can't... I don't know if you can see it. The little sprinkles. It looks like salt. Oh, take me away right now. Oh. Everybody's been talking about pretzel. I'm going to say everybody. Charity was talking about pretzel. Uh, I think Martha had mentioned. Well, I know Charity did a whole video on pretzels or something similar. I can't remember. I've watched so much YouTube lately. Oh, man. This is going to be so good. <gasps> oh, it just dented my little pan. Anywho. Oh, man. You can smell the almond on the bottom. It's got glitter all throughout. Look how cute that is. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm excited. This bakery girl is excited. Did I say almond? Yes, she said almond cream. <sighs> Sorry. I'm tickled at how ridiculous I'm being. Oop! Cat is leaning up against. Hey, get. Dale. Dale is my trouble child, as if you can't tell. I do actually have a fur, a fur, a human child, um, but Dale is right beside me. He has to be in everything. Okay, so this is Princess Consuela Banana Hammock, which I absolutely giggled when I saw her scent list. Um, that is a friend's reference. Okay, it's totally smelling good. Banana nut bread, zucchini bread. Ah, sorry. Zucchini bread, cinnamon, sugar donuts, and sugar cookie poured on May 28th. I like the glitter. Oh, wow. Oh, now this. It smells. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, it's soft. Okay, I'm getting wax everywhere. Um. Oh, wow. You get the banana bread, sugar cookie notes in there, like the toasted, like the baked butter sugar note, which is also on banana bread. What else is in this? Sugar donuts. I 
I kind of get that fried, that fried, damn, like, kind of get that fried note, like the fried dough. Oh man. So I'm looking forward to doing that one as well. This is so good. So I love Sensi's banana bread. Like a lot. Like I'm hoarding, I'm hoarding. I'm holding on to two full bars. I still have two cubes of an additional bar that I haven't warmed since I got them, I think in 20, maybe either 2020 or 2019. Cause I love it so much. Ugh. Sorry, I'm sniffing my hands. I smell the, smell the espresso. <laughs> and uh, Princess Consuela banana hammock. So that is it. So I just got the five or the four mini loaves and the mini souffle. Super thankful for the samples. Um, I feel like samples are a good way to get an idea of like what you want to do next. I have no idea what this is, but it smells amazing. Some sort of coffee. I don't know. Anyway, I'll sit here and ponder on it. If I find, figure it out, I will let you guys know. Um, that is my haul, my two hauls. <laughs> I'm gonna get to chopping and storing. I love that these come in the poly bags. So I don't know, I don't know how you guys do this. So do you guys like chop it and put it back in the bag or you just cut out a piece of your souffle and put it back in the tin? Like, give me some recommendations because I have a, a crinkle cutter. And then I use to cut up my bricks. Um, this is my first mini loaf purchase from a vendor. It was awesome. So, anywho, you guys let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Taking the time out of your day to come and be a wax dork with me. <laughs> you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Or comment. I like comments. Um, if not, you guys have a blessed day. Take care. Bye.